Hello boys and girls, Mrs. Glendinning here. I'm here today to talk to you about addition and we're going to be looking at addition stories. Today we're going to be learning about the addition story to five. So what I need you to do is I need you to pause the video and I need you to go and find five things in your house. It might be five bits of pasta, five buttons, five bits of Lego, whatever you like. Now, Mrs. Glendinning has chosen five chocolates, which seems like a jolly good idea. I might treat myself to one after we finish. Let's just make sure there are five. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Now next, I want you to get a piece of paper and I want you to draw a line down the middle, just like mine. Okay, now I want you to put some of your items on one side of the piece of paper and some of your items on the other piece of paper. So, like this. Now, shall we check how many chocolates has Mrs. Glendinning got on this side of the paper? I've got one, that's right. And how many chocolates have I got on this side of the paper? Shall we count? One, two, three, four. How many chocolates has Mrs. Glendinning got all together? Shall we count? One, two, three, four, five. Now what we need to do is we need to make an addition story using our adding and our equals. So how many chocolates were on this side? One. So there's the number one. One. And what was the symbol again? Add. That's right. One. Add. How many chocolates were on this side? Four. That's right. One. Add. Four. Makes how many all together? Five. One. Add. Four. Makes five. So I want you to write that down on a piece of paper for me. Okay? And record all the different ways of making five. So one add four makes five. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, now this time, how many chocolates are on this side? Shall we count? One, two, three, four. How many chocolates are on this side? One. How many chocolates all together? One, two, three, four, five. So if we were making an addition story, it would look like this. Four, add one, makes five, okay? And then you can write it down on your piece of paper. Four, add one, makes five. There we are. Now, there are lots of different ways of making five, and I want you to write them all down for me and send them to me via Seesaw or Google Classrooms. I look forward to seeing all your different stories for five. See you later. Bye-bye.